case coming up of a calcified soft tissue mass. This one had been masquerading as a Veruca, but in reality it wasn't. The patient had been referred through from one of my favourite and best local private practitioners who'd thought, well, this looks like a Veruca, and certainly superficially it does. And in attempting to aggressively debride it, found there was something hard and clicky deep to the epidermis and thought, well, maybe there's a foreign body or something else strange going on. So she'd referred it through to me to see whether I could cure the lesion out in toto. And that's what we did. So just off camera, so I've just done before Joan came in, I've done a tibial block. Oh, and also, I don't know if you can see, there's a bleb of anesthesia. So I've tried to block out where the medial carcanoma will be. So tried to do uh, superficial and a deep. So Joan, how does that feel now? Alright. Any pain at all as I give that no. a poke? Okay. What if I give it a squeeze? Should be alright. So, so how does that feel now? So when I tried to do that a few minutes ago, it was a little unpleasant. Does that feel okay now? So about yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start and just give it a wee shave, okay? So there's a query of a foreign body in here. It's certainly, oh, that's interesting. So it's quite a vascular lesion. We've scanned it just, so we scanned it when, when Joan first came in. Very, very sort of scan. No sign of anything on the scan. Um, in fact, then we, we gave her an anaesthetic block and then I've re-scanned her a minute ago. There's no sign of anything deep that's reflecting any of those wonderful ultrasonic waves. How does that feel, Joan? So far. Okay. Is that okay? So, sharp curatage. So, be a little bit of claret. All the brands of red wine are available. Oh my God, this is tough, oh my heck. Oh my giddy aunt, Joan. Sorry? No, don't apologise to me. Oh my bloody heck. Why about the beer? It's just the skin is so tough. Sharon, can I get a fresh 15 blade, please? That's actually not sharp enough to cut. Wow. So we're just going to get a fresh blade. Well, that's just unbelievable. So let's come around the other side. So you can see it's quite a vascular lesion. I think that's just because it's just not healing real well. So we like to send things off to the lab just to kind of just check. And they'll normally come back as, we you know, when I do these for because I was funny enough, I was just looking just a couple of days because we keep a log of all our histo things, what we send off. And I think we're at about 90% of things that we've sent off have come back as Veruca. Alrighty, so Sharon's got some gloves on. Sharon, come on round for me, Chucky Egg. I just want you to come round and just while I'm just doing this, take this and just keep that dabbed while keeping your hands out of the camera because it's, we've got over three viewers. Okay, so give me a look so I can see what we're doing. Oh, there's something in there. Mm -hmm. Dab again. Let's get this skin out. I don't understand how that didn't show up on the ultrasound. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Did you hear that fall on the floor, viewers? Dab, Sharon. So, that was kind of interesting. So, we have a retained foreign body. Keep it dabbed. Let's have a little look on that. Right, Sharon, let me have a little bit of a 
So I can't believe that didn't show up on the on the ultrasound, but you know, there you go. So we've got a bit of scar tissue there, guys. Sharon, come on around, Chucky. So that's all out. You might have heard it fall on the floor, guys. We'll find it in a sec. Here's a close-up of the sample that came out. So having had retained foreign body, Veruca and calcified mass as our differentials, this was really a calcified mass. You could you could really tell having rolled it around your fingers. And of course, we send it off to Histo to confirm. So that's it going in the little orange pot. And then Jones come back two days later for an early change of dressing, partly because there's a background of um, a touch of sugar, as they say, around these parts. Stop that video going. So, Joan, we are two days since we took out that yeah. lesion for you. So it came through as a potential Veruca corn foreign body. We've not had the results back from the lab yet, but I think it will come back as a calcified mass. So we've had just a little bit of, of, of bleeding through there. So let's have a little look and see what we get. So how was the pain after the procedure? What sort of level of pain would you would you describe? Not much. On a scale of 0 to 10, give me a number. Just so I know how guilty to feel. Pain. Yeah, give me a number out of 10. About 3, 4. Oh, that's really good. Because before it was very sore, wasn't it? Oh, God, it was. So let's have a little look at this then, viewers, and see what we see. Now, I'm just going to very, very gently just, just, un it's like Christmas, Joan. Good. Let's have a little peek. Oh. Oh, don't say, don't, that's it. That looks really good. So that's really neat. I'll be very careful not to even push that because I was asked not to. The histo path was back about a week later, but you see when I was doing the editing, I was able to put in that it was indeed a calcified soft tissue mass. And we did some wound care and she went on to fully heal in two to three weeks and she's doing really well. Thanks for watching.